So you want to play around with DaVinci Resolve on Linux, but you have an AMD GPU or an AMD APU. Uh, I think we still call them APUs, right? Yeah, sure. Anyway, I'm going to be using 5600G for this video and this demonstration. But unfortunately, when you try to launch Resolve, this is what you get. Resolve basically just tells you to go pound sand because Resolve wants, not even wants, demands the AMD Pro driver, the closed sourced binary driver, the driver that will kick down your back door and run out screeching into the night, never to be seen again. But worse than that, it means you need to reinstall your operating system. I'm not joking. Sadly, you can choose between Red Hat 8.7, Ubuntu 20 or 22, where you can get Suzy 15 with Service Pack 4. I'm guessing that's what SP4 means, but we're going to be building a workstation. So we're going to go with the lesser of three evils. And in this case, it's going to be Ubuntu 22.04.1. Let's get that downloaded, put it on a thumb drive, pop it into a box and let's get it installed. So just do your standard install. Ubuntu is not going to throw you any curveballs. Partition the drive like you want. Set it up if you need a dual boot system. Just use your default things and let's get back to the desktop. Now that we have Ubuntu up and running, let's go ahead and download the AMD Pro drivers along with DaVinci Resolve. You can pick the free version or the studio version. Up next, disabling Wayland. Head over to your custom.com and uncomment Wayland enabled equals faults. And you'll need to be root in order to save this file. So make sure you sudo all the things. Okay, that's done. That's over with. Let's install the AMD driver repo. We're going to be using dpackage, which is not my preferred way, but you know what? It, it'll work. Trust me with this. Let's do a dpackage i followed by the package name. Okay. Once that's done, let's go ahead and run sudo apt update. Now we can run this moon glyph of a command. Prepare yourself. Uh, don't worry. Link in the description for all of your copy pasta needs. Don't worry about that. We're going to do sudo amd gpu install vulcan equals pro opencl rocr hama legacy there'll be a license agreement you got to check off in there and the download's about two gigabytes and it's a good time to like just get up stretch your legs question your life choices all right up next user mod we got to put our user the user that you plan on using into the video group and into the render group we're going to be using sudo user mod and last g you know if you've ever added a user to the sudoers file, you have an idea what's going on here. Followed by the group name, followed by the username, which is resolve in this video. Now that we have that knocked out, it's the perfect time to reboot the system to load the AMD Pro drivers and to have everything ready for the DaVinci Resolve install. All right, up next, unzip resolve and get ready to install a gang of dependencies. That's right. Uh, again, there's a link in the description to the written guide for all of your copy pasta needs. So don't worry about it right now. Don't try to crib off the YouTube video itself. So let's run the run file and install DaVinci Resolve. Pretty straightforward, you know? Hey, pretend you're on Windows. Smash that next button, fam. And you're going to need your root password not once, but twice to complete the install. Oh boy, now we can launch Resolve for the first time and fight with the box of nothingness. The Void. Oh, I call him Gregory. Now, legend has it that something is supposed to be in this box, but our only goal is to close it by any means necessary. However you got to get it done, get it done. But check that out. Once that's complete, Resolve's going to start right up. And we can go into Untitled Project and poke around. Let's take a look into Preferences. Look at that. 5600G has been detected and it's being used for GPU processing with a DaVinci Resolve under Linux. So pretty much anything you'd be able to do with NVIDIA and CUDA, you'll now be able to do with AMD and OpenCL. That's going to do it for this video. Thank all the people that are flying by right now on your screen. They are patrons, patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. They help finance this borderline educational content that we occasionally make for the show and to help people do content creation under Linux. All right, get out there. Makes it an awesome.